Robert Gleich, MD, I'm the medical director and chief scientist here at beautiful CHR. I want today to address an issue that we hear a lot about, many questions, and that's the cliff in getting pregnant. In other words, as women get older, it's getting harder and harder to get pregnant. And there are all kinds of rumors out there, what are the right ages to get pregnant, or when is it too late to get pregnant, or where and when do, does a woman have to go into egg donation, etc. I would suggest that you forget everything you have heard and listen carefully to what I have to tell you today. Female fertility and obviously infertility is obviously age-related. And as women get older, it slowly declines. Just on a side note, it is very interesting that being too young is also not good. Being too young or very young uh, women who get pregnant have actually a harder time delivering and having a baby than let's say after 25. So like so many times in nature, extremes are never good. Even too young is not too good, but certainly as a woman gets older, the chance of getting pregnant slowly declines. And therefore, to a degree, all those cutoff ages, 35, 38, 42, whatever you may have heard, they are kind of arbitrary. Because at least up to roughly age 43, the decline is really gradual. And I'm talking now about the routine decline. I'm obviously not addressing individual medical conditions that can deviate from that routine decline. But the routine decline is gradual and it is based in principle on one fact. And that one fact is that the chance per embryo declines. Even assuming a woman ovulates, produces every month an egg, is sexually active with her partner, the sperm meets the egg, fertilizes the egg, that resulting embryo has different pregnancy chances at age 25, at age 35, and certainly at age 45. Indeed, I can give you some hard data on that. At age 25, that single good-looking embryo will give you at least a 35% pregnancy chance. The same good-looking embryo at age 45, if we are lucky, will give us a 5% pregnancy chance. So this is a gradual process, which is mostly driven by the fact that women are born with their eggs. Those eggs are sitting in the capsule of the ovaries, and even though they are very well protected, they are aging. They are aging like all other cells in our bodies as we get older. And it is that aging effect that is largely the reason why with advancing age the chances are declining. There are other reasons as well. And therefore it is very important to understand that there's nothing magical about the age 30 about age 35 or about 38 and there's certainly nothing magical about age 42 where most IVF clinics in our opinion here at the CHR unfortunately pretty automatically send every patient into egg donation uh, we don't do that here at the Center for Human Reproduction and not only because we don't believe in those artificial age cutoffs uh, but <clears throat> because uh, frankly 
we don't consider the decision to go into uh, into using a, a young egg donors uh, in principle a medical decision. We consider it a very private, personal decision that is not up for us to make. It is really up to the patient and to a partner to make. And everybody has different thoughts, obviously, about that process. We are here to give you the information so that you can make the right decision at various times. If there is a break point in aging and female fertility, then I would put it at age 43. And the reason why I'm saying that is because that turned out to be a very important year for us here at the CHR and for our research. Because about, well, it's now over 10 years ago, we, we obviously then already always very, very carefully assessed what are our pregnancy rates and what are our delivery rates in, in what we are doing. And as I just explained, we saw what we expected, that as women were getting older, our pregnancy rates were declining in those patients. But it was a gradual decline until age 43. And at age 43, we saw suddenly a much steeper decline happening. And that was puzzling to us. We did not understand why that was happening. And so we started a research project, which we published afterwards, of course. Uh, and what we learned was actually very interesting. And what we learned was that at age 43, there indeed is kind of a change, an important change happening in the follicles, in the follicle in where the egg is sitting. And that change is that all the metabolic processes in the follicle are speeding up, which is also the reason why as women get older, their cycles are getting shorter. And as all those processes are speeding up, and we learned already several years earlier that follicles can overcook can become too mature, and then the eggs in those follicles are pretty poor. And what we learned is that by age 43, this speeding up really, really becomes very significant. And that was a break point, really, in, in everything that happened here at CHR ever since, because once we recognized that everything is happening quicker and quicker as women are getting older and older, we learned that we had to get out those eggs earlier and earlier. Because if we waited as long in older women in, in retrieving the eggs as we would in younger women, we ended up with overcooked eggs, which we here jokingly call hard-boiled instead of soft-boiled. And once they are hard-boiled, they will never give you a pregnancy. And so that's where we started roughly 10 years ago to retrieve eggs earlier and earlier. And that is a unique feature that you will only find at the Center for Human Reproduction. We know only of maybe two or three other uh, IVF clinics around the world who, who are doing it, but to a much lesser degree than we. And therefore, let me come to a close by saying we don't believe in arbitrary age cutoffs for anything. There are obviously younger women who have older ovaries and there are older women who have younger ovaries. What matters is not the age of the patient. What matters is the functionality of her ovaries. And they need different treatments at different times. Just as we would not treat a 25-year-old like we are treating a 45-year-old, uh, or a 35-year-old like we would treat a 45-year-old, you will also not 
do the opposite, for example. There are some younger women who have prematurely aging ovaries. They obviously need to be treated like an older woman. And an older woman who has very young ovaries obviously needs to be treated like a younger woman. That's what matters. And if I can say so, uh, that is probably some, something that no IVF clinic anywhere does as well as we do here at the CHR. So thanks for listening and see you soon.